Hello explorers and welcome back to another gameplay video. Today we're gonna play some more Life is Strange and uh, this started as a one-armed uh, playthrough because of my injury and I'm um, really excited that I'm back to the point where I can actually lift my own laptop which is a great uh, <laughs> addition so I'm getting better but we are still playing this in uh, in a little bit of an easy mode, so probably when I've ended this playthrough I can play something a little bit harder and where I need to use this hand a little bit more. It's still not with me fully. So let's get into this. So let's continue with episode four, I believe. We did three last Previously time. Previously on Life is Strange. I don't remember. <gasps> yeah, yeah. This you don't part know who and the then fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Don't ever touch me again. her. Been a while since I've been playing this. Um, yeah, looked at boats. We amazed her in the Let's cafeteria with our superpowers. We <laughs> we killed Kate here, or we weren't Stop. able to save her. Don't come near me. Not now. Uh, it won't work. Won't work. I know this isn't pleasant. And do we frame coffee, Jefferson? Please, tell us everything. Because he was the last person hey, to talk with her. Stelm and Louise. That's we Rachel lost a gun. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. Like you said, it's yeah. time to start the search for clues. We broke into the Welcome school. To my domain. Let's find what we want and and be. looked in the principal's yes. office and come found a lot files. of things. Rachel, but we didn't see all the money. Over and over. That's it. Listen, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank. Oh yeah, mm. we found those. We didn't Frank. find the the gun. I can't believe she's dating Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. So we got a lot of drama out of this. Yeah, we went back in time. Yeah, that's you the other part. Like to wait for your father to come home when you're and we Ever made him died, not leave. Shit. So he took Chloe, the bus instead of the car. I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> Hello, are you? Oh, even this was a weird this sequence. This is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Yeah. Her new friend was really you. fucked up. Hold on. <laughs> Chloe, and you have a visitor. And then we have this weird camera angle. Yeah. Because that's about where you have your feet uh, or in your lap or something. Life is Strange is a story-based game that features player choice. The consequences of your game actions and decision will impact the past, present, and the future. Choose wisely. I'll do that to my best ability. Uh, that water effect is not convincing at all. So is the game running at a lower frame rate or didn't they work at the that animation maybe it should be pixelated to get the right feel okay so some friends were out biking went down to the beach looking at the whales don't nod, entertainment. We bring you the killer whales, or the kill whales. Yeah. Really serene view with some really horrific imagery. I love the beach, but this is way too many birds in one beach for my. Oh, it was episode four, so the last time we went, did episode three. Yeah. So no one is sitting at the. Oh, they are coming to the bench. I see. Still, too many birds. I guess it's because of all the dead carcasses floating from the water. 
is serene view. It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. Oh, sad. So Max, so pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a, in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much, yeah. Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Mm. Bet you could take some amazing shots. I wonder what those spokes so in to her head does, because they are clearly not attached to anything. At least I'm alive here with you. When you have that kind of a face or a head survivor, protection, Chloe. doesn't those really you have to deal with shouldn't so they much. touch? I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for anybody me. Anybody know? I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Uh, blame William. Talk about accident. We shouldn't blame William. He hasn't done anything except buying her a car and that's kind of awesome. Are so you talk. okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... And that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just... Happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. Okay. So she doesn't... She hasn't been a close friend to Rachel, I guess. So that... You mean Rachel Amber? When was the last time you talked to her? Uh, never. I just read about her in the news. I didn't even know her name. You did? This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. Um, well, it might be. It might be, but I'd like to think we can still change things for the better. I'd like to think that too, but I don't have much hope these days. I know things seem out of control, but as long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe. I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. You're my best friend. Max. Thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. None taken. <sighs> These kind of sceneries are... My wife's bread and butter. She is working on intensive care and I've seen everything, the worst of everything, and uh, I'm not that good at taking these kinds of issues and these kinds of things so when she speaks of them they really touch and so does this story it's really sad and hopelessness is nothing that you want to experience or 
want somebody that you like to experience. Beautiful shots, though. They really capture the. It's a pretty high tech feeling. lair. Feels like a high tech cell. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you are here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, I know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive when you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you, can you bring me some water? Get my drink on? Yeah, girl, you go drink, <laughs> drink. So, uh, I guess the toilet is over here. Danger zone, bathroom area, gas mask, optional. Man, Joyce and William built a whole new bathroom for Chloe. They're so great. Okay. It's Just... nice my parents sent a card at least. Chloe, we know you love, uh, you know we love you and you're in your own Hearts and thoughts, we hope to see you smiling face soon. Please be well, Ryan of Vanessa Caulfield. Thinking I of you. I wonder who this is. Megan. Kind of a generic card. Dear Chloe, I'm so sorry for what happened. N know that I'm here for you. Uh, you. If you need anything, I hope you feel better and I hope to see you again. I wasn't very available to Chloe real nice Chloe just thought I'd drop you a quick note to let you know I'm thinking about you I feel so lame writing shit like I hope you're well etc I know your life is so different now and I don't want that to get in the way of our friendships yes I haven't been around lately but that will change soon I hope you're well at least I sent road trip selfies to Chloe <laughs> I'm sure that made her feel great. Yeah. Ah, so anime. Or Japanese, perhaps. I don't really know. So we don't go to the bathroom to get. Uh, uh, to get water. Where do we go? Oh, a cup. So Drink up, Buttercup. Oh man. No wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Boring. Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. Yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in another life. <sighs> okay, so you're right. That means that things have went really slowly. And that's probably what she wants to hear. What do you remember is a good question as well seems like yesterday is flimsy so what do you remember what do you remember about remember us remember back we all have different memories i think about us as little pirates running and jumping through arcadia bay me too but we're still pirates in our own way <laughs> yeah right check me out chloe of the caribbean no <laughs> way will i get on a fucking boat now Unless you're with me. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. Well, 
Which friends? So we don't want her to think about the people she keeps away, I guess. So you have me. You have me. I'm not leaving you, Chloe. Well, you didn't visit me a lot either. I mean, I loved your cards and photos, but... I know I wasn't around much. No excuses, I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not Supermax. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. Are you lonely? Then we are putting a pointer at her situation. Are they okay? That we are caring about them. And make her think about how she makes her them feel. Which could be bad. So let's just say that they love They you. love you so much. I know. My mom and dad are so cute. They always pop in here and make sure everything's okay with me. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks and the medical bills are fucking insane. Can they pay? Now we are bringing a light on that situation again. Ah, oh, so I bet I it's bet. the best one of those. This tech must be crazy expensive. Along with the drugs, the nurses, the supplies. Mom and dad are always broke and they get so frustrated. Is it worth it? Chloe, you're priceless. Uh, <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> you are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> what do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know, I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. Now let's get this show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. Swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Not yet. Okay. So... We have a trip. We have a drawer. Maybe we are looking for... She has to use a lot of lotion to keep her blood circulating. Okay, that's not what we are looking for. We're looking for a movie, I guess. Nothing but medical supplies. Bracelets, that's not a movie. Wheelchair. Snow globes. Oh, is this? Nope. DVD player. Search here. Oh my god. I made that mix for her when we were 12. Pirate power! <laughs> yeah. Max, it is so cool that you're here again. I'm glad you think so. Oh, it's so hard when you're trying to look down. Ah, here's the DVD. Ah, ta da! Found it. DVD player. DVD. Doing it. Now we're watching a movie. Ding, ding, ding. 1200 points. Wonder if they are using the real soundtrack from Blade Runner. Or if they are just having some generic explosions. Car rides. Could you actually take a sound cue or let's say the start of Star Wars without any music and actually cue that up in your content uh, copyright limitation system? I wonder if that is that copyrightable or could I use that sound mix? with some other content. We fell asleep, okay? 
but she's awake. <coughs> I cannot believe you fell asleep so fast. <laughs> How dare you. I know you were beat down after the day with me, and Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. Uh, do you do you think Deckard is a replicant? Sorry, I can see you're not wide awake like me. No, I'm sorry I crashed so hard. Were you okay? I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. You are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. Yesterday was such a blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates jumping and running through the forests again. It meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. <sighs> Fuck. Um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my, my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? It's, uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep the swag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? I'm on it, Chloe. <sighs> okay. Hey, William. Um, am I bothering you? Why, yes, Max. I love going through bills. <laughs> Kidding. How can you bother me? I haven't seen you in forever. I know. You look exactly the same. <laughs> it's so cool. Good. Or I'd be scared if I didn't look like me. <laughs> of course, you seem more adult now. So what's on your mind? Uh... Room, Chloe, Joyce. Well, let's ask about Being breakfast. around you and Joyce again is so nostalgic. Very old school, as they say. <laughs> I think it's great for Chloe to see you. Makes Joyce happy, too. So it's not all bad news in Arcadia Bay. Or is it? Mm. Okay. What could we get more information about? We could go back. Uh, but I think we should ask about Rachel Amber. Does I was reading about anything? that missing girl. Might not get Rachel a chance. Amber. Oh yeah, she went to Blackwell, right? Oh, poor thing. That's a real nightmare for a family. I get scared thinking about Chloe and that we might lose her someday. <laughs> okay. Crazy weather, then. What do you think is going on with all of this crazy weather and animals dying? Nobody knows, right? It is Nostradamus-type shit, pardon my French. But all I actually care about now is Chloe and Joyce. My family. Okay, so then you will not care about the... I don't know how to say this, but... I'm truly sorry about what happened to Chloe. Me too. All it takes is a few minutes to change a girl's whole life. But she's alive. She's been a trooper. Mm. Is she mad at me? Glad you're here. She is amazing. I'm so glad you're here to help her. And be her father. I'm so glad Joyce is here to help us both. Max, I, I just hate to think of what would happen to Chloe. If I wasn't here. William, I just want you to know that whatever happens, I'll always be here for Chloe. Always. I know you will, Max. I was impressed by Chloe's room and all the high-tech equipment. You should be. We could buy a few mansions for what it all costs. 
The insurance helps, but I... Uh, I don't know, Max. I know it must be hard on you guys, financially. His bills are more like crushing. We have to mortgage our home, and that's pretty scary. But... but we'll get through it. Price is always right. Get it? No? Nope. Um... I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. It was so great talking with you again. You act like it's the last time. And please, keep me from these bills whenever you want. Well, maybe not the last time. Maybe the first time in a while. So uh, let's see. Well, busy. Max, you busy girl. Avoiding homework as usual. I told you I help you out. You never let me help. Okay, drama, stop. And you help me by caring. I do try. By the way, I score that killer bud from you know, know who, FYI. Save me a ball, gotta bounce. T -t 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 Talk to you later. Come on, come by my room tonight. Max, are we cool? I just wanted to make sure since you walked away so fast. Nathan was worried too. If you want to talk, hit me up, okay? Love you. Max, if you're mad, just tell me, okay? Silence. So you want uh, so if you want to talk, my door is open. Love you. Weird. Okay. Uh, so Chloe. Hello Max, it's William. If you want to contact Chloe, you can use this number. She would love to hear from you. See you soon. I hope bye. Hey Chloe, Maxime here. I know it's been a while. I just wanted to let you know I'm going to Blackwear Academy now. Hope this is still your number. Max is back. Blackwell, that's awesome. You rule. Best of all, we can hang again. So yes, this is still my number. Cool. I've got a buttload of homework, but we'll get together soon. Don't tease me. It's been too long. I know. I'll see you soon. And that's a weird smiley. I don't know. Anybody knows? And Lisha. Hey Max, it's a shame that uh, you hang out with those people. I thought you were different. Alicia, I saw you throw that teepee at me. Huh? Oh my god, I was not aiming at you, I swear. Don't do it again. Mom. Oh yeah, we have talked a lot about Happy birthday, Maxime. We can't believe it's been 18 whole years. So that's the same. Maxime, it's your mom. We need to talk about uh, some of your bills. Are you there? Yes, give me some time to answer. I can't just text in every class. Some teachers get super pissed when we people use when people use their phone. Uh, because it's super rude, please don't be so snippy. Sorry, long day of homework. You're not the only one, and that's why we're wondering if you need to spend so much. We want you to have everything you need, but your scholarship doesn't cover everything. You said you could use a credit card when I need it, and I bought film, not a camera. It's time to go digital. I call you later, have to go. Don't pout, love you. Hey honey, I hope you didn't forget to water the plant we gave you, but don't drown it either, mommy. Okay, so it's a little bit different there. And we still have Nathan. Yo, yo, Max, you around? In the dark room, developing shots for the contest. Sweet, so no two whales for you? Not yet. See you guys later though, peace out. Jesus, we are good friends with him. Max, thanks again for taking talking to me. Me to see my taking me to see my mom. I think she wants you for a daughter instead of me. I think not. Your mom is a badass like you. Yeah, right. Cried like a bitch. So did I. You just didn't see me. That's okay. It's okay to cry. Get it's gets cold. My stupid phone is about to die so so call me back. Okay. Got a 
lot of messages, but they're a very different tone than the other ones. So let's see if we can find Joyce anywhere. Uh, maybe she's in the garage? Uh, no. Chloe has the garage now for her own room. So she has easy access. Ah, well that's nice. So still the cat's over here? I'm sorry, Bongo Kitty, but you passed on before I changed this reality. Yep. Good to know, good to know. Some things doesn't change. Bongo is not alive. So let's go upstairs and see if we can find Joyce. Mm. Open here. So uh, this is Chloe's room. And she's not using it. Mm. So empty. Too bad Joyce and William can't get any help from the Prescott Foundation. Thank you for keeping me updated on Chloe's condition. I only imagine the struggle you and William are going through. I'm so sorry that I can't help you with a loan this time. Like everybody else, I, I'm under worker with my own medical bills. Please give Chloe a hug and my best wishes. Crutch, toys, shoes, another letter. I never heard much about William's brother. Hey Bill, sorry for not staying in touch since the accident. Work has been uh, piling up and, and I'm uh, being sent to Salt Lake City to oversee the new parking lot. You have to go where the work is, is these days. Uh, I wish I could have sent you a bigger check, but... You know the story, money is everybody's favorite thing. Maybe I'll see you next spring for the visits. Uh, kiss Chloe and Joyce for me. Hang in there, Billy. Yep, I can't handle these things very well. Oh, here's Joyce. Oh, Max, it is so nice to have you around. Let's speak Good to morning, her. Max. Ah, oh, you and Chloe are so much quieter now than when you were kids. I remember. It's nice waking up in your house again. Oh, William and I love it. Finally seeing you and Chloe together after all these years. After the accident. Yeah, let's talk about William. I have to tell you how much I love seeing you and William together again. He's been such a hero through all this. Chloe and I, lucky to have him. Yeah, you are. William still the same? Is William still the same? After everything that's happened? For better and for worse. But always for the better. I, I never thought I'd love a man so much I can't imagine life without him. It sounds corny, I know. You rule, Joyce. Shit. Things would be different if I did. I like how you think, kid. But you do. So how, how are you? How are you doing, Joyce? I'm doing the best I can, Max. I won't lie. It's difficult. But nobody said life was easy here in Arcadia Bay. No one did. Uh, a lot of work. Plus, you guys have to work, too. Ah, oh, Bill and I have no time for ourselves. 
Yeah, we're working more than we're living. I even had to take a part-time gig at Pan Estates. Ugh. Do you know the Prescotts? I know that Sean Prescott won't be happy until he owns everything in Arcadia Bay. Stay away from his son, Nathan. Okay. He co have so, havoc. what do you think is going on here with all of this eco havoc? Maybe Arcadia Bay just wants to be left alone. I know the feeling. Honestly, I don't give a shit about too much outside our house. I don't blame you, Joyce. Except now we have dead birds and beach whales outside our front door. So maybe I should care, for Chloe's sake. Maybe. I wish I was a better friend. I know Chloe doesn't get many visitors. Oh, Max, you're Chloe's best friend for a reason. You're here exactly when she needs you. I hope so, I guess. Saying that Chloe needs help is it pushing the issue again. I hope so. You guys do such an amazing job taking care of her. We can only do so much, and she gets damn sick of her parents. <laughs> That's why it's so important you came to spend time with her. Max, Chloe's condition is not improving. Her respiratory system is very weak and she... She... Do you know what I'm saying? <sighs> Choice. I'm so sorry you have to go through all this. Bad or good, I embrace every moment with my daughter and my husband. This is what it means to be a family. And we'll always be one. No matter what. I better get back to Chloe now. It's good talking with you, Joyce. You too, honey. Mm, do I want to know? Oh, no. I didn't realize how bad Chloe's entry really was. Dear Mrs. and Mrs. Price, uh, we discussed last week Chloe's respiratory system is showing signs of rapid weakening. This accounts for her recent anemia and loss of breath. As a doctor, I'm committed to her well-being, but I want to understand the reality that respiratory failure is common in people with severe spinal injuries. Your daughter is one of the bravest, strongest uh, parents uh, I ever had, and I'm proud to be working with her. Bravest, strongest, patience. Ah, I just want you, uh, as parents, to prepare for any and all possibilities. I believe Chloe should also be made aware of her changing condition. If you would like to discuss this further, you have my contact information. Yes, you probably have. So, where to now? Where to now? Uh, more pictures. So, light switch. Switch on. And there were lights. Cabinet search. The bathroom looks almost the same. Just more medicine. Yep. Mm. Look at the mirror. How's it going, time tripper? Funny. I think I look older. Yeah. Nothing here. Nothing there, so I guess it's in the overhead cabinet then. It's cool that Chloe uses natural medicine too. Okay, so it's not in the bathroom then. Weird. Doesn't you have the medicine in your bathroom? Do they have a specific room for medicine? And a spoonful of sugar and the medicine goes down, the medicine goes down. Oh, the other cabinet door, perhaps. Here it is. Oh, there it is. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. No, neither would I. Neither did I, neither did I. Mm. Oh, Jesus. So, I'm not really sure.
sure I want to look at anything else, so let's continue. Uh, this was a really sad episode. Oh. Finally. Uh, give me the blue pill. I'm sorry. I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy. And painless. Um, okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me. I will. Of course, my pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. <laughs> You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo. But can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Please, my diary is like emo ground zero. Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ever. Okay, so the album is over by the dresser here. Yep. Found it. She was good at giving directions. Photo album. Is that okay? Perfect. Oh my god, look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> my dad would have banished me. Yep, so let's turn the page. Whoa, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. There's still time for you. <sighs> Turn page. Oh man, there we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Literally seems like yesterday. I wish it was. Me too. This photo... Maybe I could... Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing, and... Uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So, I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along, and I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? I'm saying that being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible, and you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you to be my last memory. Do you understand? Yes, I do. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. choice for me to Chloe, make. I, I really don't know if I can do this. I had another friend who wa wanted to end it all, and I did everything I could to try and save her life. How can I be responsible for ending yours? I mean, th there's got to be another way. Max, you were there for your friend, no matter what. Now I'm asking you to help me the same way. I want to help you, Chloe, but I, th I think my help is hurting. At least you have a choice. 
When you want to make a decision, you can just do it. Look at me. I'm at the mercy of everybody. For once, I want to make my own choice. The most important one of my life. Please. Help me, Max. Okay, so now we don't have a choice anymore. So... Am I pro, pro or am I against? That's the question. Well, I have actually talked about this with my wife, that if I ever get this disease when you have a deteriorating head, so you are slowly sinking into yourself and your body stays behind, then I'm not sure if I want to live anymore. Um, so I guess this is the opposite. She really likes to have a body, but her head functions. And that's not as much of an issue to me, but it might be to her. And if the doctor says that it's getting worse and they don't know what to do now, they could probably figure something out that could help her. But her head is with her. So she is still a person. If you are losing your head and you're a vegetable and can't think for yourself, that's a different thing. So I think I will refuse. Chloe. I can't. It wrecks me to see you in any pain, but I don't have any right to do this. I'm an adult. I'm giving you the right. But Joyce and William. I already said my goodbyes to them, but they won't honor my wishes. You will, right? I, I can't kill you with an overdose. Max, I'm dying from my illness, not my dosage. This accelerates the process. I'd rather go out on a wave than a rock. And I want my best friend to help me out. I am going to help you, but not like that. You have to believe me, Chloe. Why, Max? You're just bailing on me like everybody else. Why don't you go now? You've been wanting to since you got here, right? So go and don't come back. Chloe. I am never leaving you again. So let's focus on I'm the photo. Sorry, William. So how did we do that again now? Yeah, use A and D keys and left and ma ref right mouse button. There we go. Someday dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope so. Keeper. Hello? Hey, honey. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the square jar. You mean your college fund? Jesus. Aha! You can't hide from me forever. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad. Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? He's never leaving me. That makes all of us. Max. 
Max, you are being so fucking strange. Like you're never gonna see us again. Chloe, I'm so sorry. I tried to make things different for you. I, I did try. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but come on. You have made things different, like my whole life. You're my best friend. I've got you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? We'll be best friends forever. And when we grow up, we're taking over the world. Listen, whatever happens, I want you to be strong. Even if you feel like I wasn't there for you. Because I will never abandon you, Chloe. I'll always have your back. Always. Oh yeah, now you suddenly want to kiss me? You had your chance. I'm just... I'm just... I'm so glad you're here. You sound high, but thanks for the morning grope. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. Max, did you forget we've gone over this? I hope you weren't messing around with time while I was sleeping. Not anymore. I'm just spaced out too. Welcome back to the real world, Max. Yep. So... I don't think I can ever tell Chloe about what happened. I think it's a good time now to actually take a break. And, uh... Yeah, I hope you liked this video, and I hope to see you in the next one. Subscribe if you haven't done so. See ya.